What's up, LEGO fans? Welcome back, Alex here. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the latest wave of LEGO Ideas submissions that have reached 10,000 votes. And get this, there are 71 of them. Mind blown. I cannot believe how many we're seeing. I thought the last one where it was like 51 was just crazy. I'm like, we're not gonna get more than that. But here we are, the latest wave of these is actually 71 for the first 2023 LEGO Ideas Review. So what I thought would be kind of fun here as always, guys, is I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. We're gonna scroll through these ideas and see which ones look really, really cool that we hope to have as real LEGO sets. Uh, but uh, what I'm gonna do here, I guess I'll, I'll share my screen here and I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you if there's something that I want. I uh, would love to see it as a Lego set. If not, I'll just kind of scroll through it here, but let's go ahead and get started. Here is the thumbnail here with 71 product ideas that qualify for the first 2023 Lego ideas review. Just mind boggling how many uh, are actually making it to that amazing 10,000 vote mark. All right, so go ahead and take a look at the first one here. We have Dr. Seuss and Lego by Lego Fan 506. Dr. Seuss fans rejoice. Uh, Sweet Honey by Robert V.I.I. Looks interesting enough, for sure. Uh, it's what all the buzz is about. Next is the Botanical Garden by Gonus89. I would probably get that. That's a pretty cool-looking building there. Next is The Crown, A Piece of History by Pyroton. A lot of shiny pieces in there, for sure. Next is Stargate SG-1 by... Em uh, oh, I'm sorry. Stargate SG-1 Embarkation Room by Starbrick SG-1. Definitely is a Stargate fan there. Uh, we have the Ross, oh, Ross Cosmos Soyuz MS Spacecraft by Tom Brick. I think that has real, uh, real potential there. Motorized Howl's Moving Castle by Eric Lego 321 uh, There's going to be some IPs in here that I'm not familiar with, and that's going to be the first one uh, for sure. Uh, next, oh, hey, another Stargate. Uh, simply the Stargate by Captain Mutant. Medieval Seaside Market by Brick's Fan UI. Okay, this is something I would definitely get for... Um, I don't know. I think that would look great in the castle layout for sure. Uh, so good, good luck there, Bricks fan UI. I love that. Next is Brick Boulevard by Brookie Brick. Uh, would love this. I doubt Lego would do this as a Lego idea set. Um, but hey, we'll, 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 fingers crossed. Good luck. Next is the Retro Comic Store by Lego Overwatch. Then we have Shrek's Swamp, 20th anniversary already. Wow. By The Real Ash and Flash. Uh, we have the Baby Green Sea Turtle by Kinetic by Quaint Wolf 082. Man, look at the detail underneath that turtle. That is incredible. Really nice job. Next is the Humpback Whale by Les Bricks de Luc. Uh, wow, interesting approach to that. Wow. It's probably a style that's called. I'm not sure what it is, though. Oh, another Shrek. We got Shrek Swamp by Daniel Bradley EY. I'd probably pick it up just to get the Shrek minifigs. Uh, is that supposed to be Donkey? He looks like a, like a dog almost, doesn't he? Interesting. All right, next we have Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the 99th Precinct by Ben Frankenhauser. This definitely looks like it's got potential as a Lego idea set. It's, it looks very reminiscent of The Office, for example. Uh, we have an LED lamp by Caster Troy and Max Brick. Really nice. Uh, Brick's Coffee by Yudamaru Brick 8. I would probably get that. I think that would look fantastic in my city. Ogle Creek Sawmill by Krakenator 4. I'd probably pick that up as well. Holly, oh, I'm sorry, Hollow Knight, Forgotten Crossroad by Ben Osborne. Another IP, probably not familiar with it, though. <laughs> Lego Godzilla by Matt E720. Got to say, that thing looks pretty amazing. That is some hefty detail there. Claws Toys by Bricky Brick. Um, I'd probably pick that up. It looks like it's like a holiday set that they come out with every year, um, but definitely more robust. It looks like it's more modular as well. Where's Waldo and Wally, or Wally slash Waldo by Ian Ha. Oh, that's pretty cool, and you can always move them around too, right? Next is the Twilight uh, Colon House by Lobster Thermidor. And I'm not familiar with Twilight, but I love that house, and I definitely get it for that building for sure. Ooh, look at this. VNTRR number 12, Genoa by SG Jess. I think that's beautiful train. I, I'd pick that up for sure. Riverside Lodge by Tarama. I... Man, this is good, too. I like the double level of that. I'd, I'd pick that up. Absolutely. Nice job. D Daft Punk, The Robots by Elliot O'Brien. Daft Punk's uh, uh, Rejoice <laughs> for that one, I, I guess. Oh, look at this. Catan the Game. I love Settlers of Catan. So this is by XCLD. I, not only would I get this, but I would play it as well. Nice design. Fingers crossed that comes out. Monsters, Inc., The Door to Monstropolis by Holly on Film. Very nice job. Uh, Il Jeune Family House by Rock the Brick. Uh, probably an IP again, I'm not familiar with, but I like the building. <laughs> Multi-Tool by Tall Guy Bricks. 
Very clever, very clever. I like it. <laughs> oh, the Portal Gun by Hooded Blaze. I, I think Portal people will would love that. Portal people, <laughs> fans of the game, would love it absolutely. <laughs> well done. Okay, Legoland Central Station by Mind the Brick and Pat Geo. This is cool. I would love. I actually, I would love to see this become a Lego set. I would think that'd be look. I would look fantastic in my city. Ooh, hopefully, hope that works out. E.T., the extraterrestrial uh, by Brickster. We'd have that E.T. minifigure. Why not, right? Uh, Amethyst Geode by G-Man13579. My goodness, I can only imagine what the instructions would be like on that. Ooh, wow. Looks pretty, though. The Scream by Spaceman Ship. <laughs> it fits that theme very well, doesn't it? Oh, man. Uh, you Liatru Elephant Fountain, Catania by Giovan Giovan Marulu, Marula. Very, very cool statue. Interesting looking statue. Lego Astronaut, uh, Astronaut Never Give Up by Lego Truman. That's pretty cool. I, I probably would pick that up. Maybe. Depends on the pricing. Hey, The Iron Giant uh, by Hachiroku24. A lot of uh, Iron Giant fans out there would uh, love that for sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Next is The Robotic Mech Factory by the V3. A lot of detail there. Bluey Again by Monkey Scout. Now, I recently learned what Bluey is about, and or what it is, actually. So I'm familiar with the IP. I love that house. Wouldn't mind picking that up. Naruto Ichiraku Ramen Shop, 25th anniversary by Daddy Twins. I'm not familiar with this IP, but I think that building would look fantastic in my Ninjago district. So I'd love to see it. Oh, DuckTales, The Money Bin by SX Ava, SXA Valentine. I love DuckTales. Um, I don't know if this is a long shot for this to make it, but if it did, I am definitely picking up The Money Bin. Bionicle Toa Head Statue by Yanni Brick. Builds things. I think Bionicle fans would love that for sure. DJ Chiama Italia by Face Brick Up. Probably an IP again I'm not familiar with, but that looks pretty cool. Look at those security cameras. My goodness. All right. The Metropolitan Don't Miss Your Train by Lil Billy. I like this. I'd probably pick that up as well. The Classic Telephone by Brick Dangerous. Look at all those gold pieces in there. That is impressive. Uh, hey, comment below if you've uh, used a rotary phone in your life. That would be me. Wednesday, welcome to Ophelia Hall by Brick Max. Uh, I enjoy Wednesday. I, I would, I would, I'd probably pick that up. It's an Adams Family IP for sure. Welcome to Narnia: The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, seventy fifth anniversary set by Rick Icheap nine zero zero seven seven. Very cool, very cool. Stardew Valley Farmhouse by Four Brick Stall. Farmhouse looks good. Parks and Rec by SJ's Workshop. I would love this. I think um, I think that has I think that has a real good shot, you guys. Hopefully that works out. Antique Cabinet by Terama. Ter Gilmore Girls by Mar Maro di P Pietro. I remember Gilmore Girls. Been a while. Cool house. <laughs> cool Runnings Jamaica Bobsled Team by uh, Senka Bassoon. That's clever. I like it. Uh, who doesn't like cool runnings, right? <laughs> One Direction, What Makes You Beautiful by SJ's Workshop. Now, that's a band, I think. Um, but regardless, I, I love that diorama. That's that's beautiful. I'm not picking that up. Next is Harry Styles, Harry's House by Brick Hills 14. Nice yellow house. Not familiar with the IP, though. Blackpink, How You Like That by Power of Fusion and Bang Tan Bricks, another IP I'm not familiar with. I think what happens is they submit these ideas and all the fans of that particular IP just give it all the votes it needs right away. But people who are like all about Lego for decades like myself, this comes, uh, this is kind of a little bit of a miss, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, Lantern in the Wind by Quang Tron 1993. Very cool, I like that tree, wow, very nice. The Adams Family, do 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 do. The Yang Yang, I'd definitely pick that up. Nice job, Yang Yang. Hey, SpongeBob SquarePants, Bikini Bottom. We've had SpongeBob before. I think they could do that again. We'll see. <laughs> the the Bricklink Lego Color Table by uh, Pancetta Sublime 019. This is clever. I like that. That's I don't know if I'd get it, but I, I think that's a, a, a clever idea. All the colors. Hey, the Moon, Earth's Companion by Sharky Bricks. Uh, a nice mosaic of the moon. I like that. Taylor Swift, Lover House by Lucy33. I recently learned what this was because there was a submission like this in the last update. Uh, this one looks a lot more detailed, though. Ice Cream Parlor by Bricky Brick. Now, this looks like there's like a train track in the back there. If that's a train station, that's fantastic. Would love this. I doubt it would happen, but I would love for that to be a real Lego set. 
Hey, the Elf movie. Who wouldn't want to have the Elf uh, in their Lego collection? This is by Jonathan1986. Well done. Look at all those Elf minifigs. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Huh. Next is the Double Helix Coaster by Nachapan Lego. Now, I think Lego just came out with another roller coaster that's like small like this one, like two base plates. Uh, and because of that, I don't think this has uh, a good shot, but we'll see. Next is Eda's Owl House by T-Brick, an IP again I'm not familiar with. I'm guessing it's an IP, but uh, eh, cool looking, looking building. Wizard's Hut by J.K. Bricks. This is cool. I would I would actually get this. It looks like it's floating in the in the clouds. He's a wizard after all. I'd put that in my uh, my castle thing for sure. The Hourglass by Brick Dangerous. Hourglass is always fun with little Legos tinkering in there. Small Shrimping Boat. I would get this. I wouldn't put it on the stand. I would actually get it in my city floating around in the water. That looks awesome. Well, great design. Compact too. I'm rooting for that one. And we got the Vintage Radio is the number 71. That is by Dimex Art. Really nice. Wow. Okay, so that was quite a lot. I went through that pretty quick, I know. Um, let's take a look at these thumbnails. Let me know what you guys think of these. That is a lot of submissions. Sometimes I think we got to lower down uh, the number or, or raise the bar, I think, maybe to 20,000 votes. I don't know. But I know 10,000 is still really impressive. So congratulations to everybody who reached that and is part of this. But my goodness, you have a lot of competition. So I'm rooting for you, Settlers of Catan. Anything castle related, anything I can put in my city, really. I think there's some great submissions in here. Uh, so good luck. Uh, to all of you guys with these LEGO idea submissions. But I will tell you guys one bit of good news before I sign off. In one of the previous reviews, they did approve Nightmare Before Christmas, and I am super pumped about that. I will get that as soon as I can. So uh, some good stuff uh, coming out here from the LEGO ideas. It, it is a, a great line, um, and I love that we actually get to have some of a, a, a say in what LEGO sets will come out in the future. Anyway, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.